Joining me now through a Zoom is Irina Nebogatova, and she is a acting staff, sorry, acting sergeant uh, with Central Region. I almost ranked you up a little bit too much there, Irina. Uh, thanks very much for joining <laughs> us today. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to talk about such an important subject. It is an important subject. And of course, we're going to be talking about uh, human trafficking. Uh, the OPP is running a campaign specifically in Muskoka um, for this topic. And Irina, are you going to tell us a bit about what's happening with that? So first of all, Irina, just tell me, you know, what is the campaign that's going to be running right now? Yeah, absolutely, James. So first of all, just wanted to uh, acknowledge that today is National Human Trafficking Awareness Day. And the Ontario Provincial Police Central Region, in partnership with Muskoka Victim Services, is launching an anti-human trafficking awareness campaign in Muskoka. And the goal of the campaign is to shine a light on human trafficking and how, to, how prevalent it is in our communities. Um, so we... The, the campaign it will uh, include several billboards along Highway 11 in Muskoka. Um, and the billboards will be utilized during the campaign to help spread awareness of human trafficking to passing motorists, including human trafficking victims being transported by their traffickers. Well, and also, the, the, I just wanted to also to mention that the, the billboards will feature comments uh, made by human trafficking victims, highlighting how normalized uh, they believe their situation may have uh, may have been. Irina, why why Muskoka? Uh, what what is it about Muskoka that is is drawing the attention of the OPP to want to run this campaign here specifically? Yeah, that, that's a great question. Well, just wanted to also acknowledge that we have wonderful relationship uh, with uh, the local victim services. And we were approached by Muskoka Victim Services directly to assist with their human trafficking campaign. Um, and this campaign will also be shared uh, with other victim services across the, the region and the province for their use. So again, just going back to what is it about Muskoka, I guess, that really um, is part of the issue? Are you seeing um, sort of higher numbers of, of possible human trafficking people you know, being, being brought through Muskoka? Uh, so it's actually the uh, the locations of the billboards will be near um, highways and um, particularly Highway 11. Um, so traffickers do utilize major highways to transport their victims. And Highway 11, on which the billboards are located, is a major highway connecting uh, to the northern parts of the province. So Muskoka is between northern Ontario and the GTA. Uh, making it a common transit destination for traffickers and their victims. So for the general public, um, what are some of the things they should be looking out for, especially if you know, we are having human trafficking uh, you know, movement through the area? Uh, yeah, so the, these signs are not always obvious. Although the presence of the signs, uh, one sign does not necessarily identify human trafficking. However, um, a combination of these indicators uh, may um, show a problem. So some of the signs include refusing to disclose information or providing false information, unable to indicate where they're living or give their address, unable to identify their last location or their upcoming destination, traveling with a lack or limited luggage, um, also not wearing clothing that is appropriate for the weather or situation. Um, uh, another one would be uh, the individual may seem afraid, anxious or depressed or showing signs of abuse, malnourishment or sleep deprivation. And for our community members, for those who do um, witness or uh, come across victims of human trafficking, we do encourage to call 911 immediately. And for victims of um, human trafficking, we also encourage them to reach out to Muskoka Victim Services. Um, their phone number is 1-844-762-9945 for assistance, and they're avail available 24-7. Irina, I really appreciate you taking the time to explain this, and obviously we appreciate the OPP shining a, a light on this issue, especially in our area. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time today. Thank you so much, and also you can follow this campaign on our social media, 
So on Facebook at uh, OPP Central Region, as well as Twitter, uh, OPP underscore CR. And you can visit our website, OPP.ca uh, slash human trafficking for more information, James. And thank you so much for this opportunity.